Weapon X46 here today, aka Ryan, and I'm here to give you a quick review on the show Stranger Things. It's a new show that just came out on Netflix. Um, it's a horror type show, it brings that, that 80s type horror type show, which is why I wanted to do a video on it because what's nothing better than uh, what's the greatest subject that I love? The 80s. I love the 80s. You got all the great cult classics, you got Back to the Future, you got all these great films, 16 Candles, you know, that's the 80s films were great. But what was better than the 80s films? The 80s horror films. So the reason why I'm doing this video is because this show brings that back. Like it, when you watch this show, it just makes you think, wow, I wonder if they had this idea in the 80s and then decided to release it now, you know? But it's a fresh new idea. Uh, I might get the name wrong, but I want to thank the Duffer brothers who did this, I guess. Um, Duffer, Duffer Brothers, I don't know, they're the ones who directed the whole show and everything. Amazing job. Reason why I love it is the story itself is just great. You get stuck into it, you get drawn into it within the first episode. Uh, me, my sister, and my younger nephew have been binging on it and we finished the whole thing. Um, of course, again, it's one of those Netflix shows that you just have to be stuck on, you know? And Netflix hasn't done us wrong lately, so I thought, you know what, this is definitely going to bring back some good good taste and, and quality it does take place in this small town everything that you've seen so far in the trailers is exactly what it's about you know the whole missing child and they meet this kid with unique abilities and then but I'm not gonna get into spoiling it for those who haven't seen it you know this is just a quick rough-up summary and what I liked about it is the intro the intro itself brings you back thinking damn this is like an 80s show and where was this? The whole soundtrack to this, the soundtrack to the series was amazing. Um, it has that classic like horror synth music, you know, like Night of the Living Dead or Fright Night or Evil Dead or Creep Show, you know, all those classic horror films. And um, oh, even the the movie Christine. If you guys haven't seen Christine, it's a classic uh, horror film about a car that goes and kills people. Pretty much, it's really good. I recommend that one. You get so drawn into it, it's just like, ah, oh, you just can't wait. And then you just hope that, uh, is this a show that's only going to have one season? Or, because after watching it, I'm going to tell you, I'm not going to say anything, but you're going to want a season two. And they're going to probably come out with a season two on the way I thought, just because of the way it ends. But I'm not going to get into the season finale. That's going to be another uh, video. But yeah, the show is just oh, so great. It's, it's just so great and I really think they did a great job bringing back that that whole classic horror film thing. I, I mean, even the movie The Thing, which it's funny because what they do on that show too is they drop down a lot of easter eggs about, you know, the 80s films or about the 50s like writers and all that. Like you, you have like, uh, they, they name drop posters from movies, they even have like clips from movies and, and it gets really nerdy too, like everything in that show is like you gotta be straight up nerdy, so, I mean, not all the way nerdy, but it was just that one where you're like, oh man, that's funny, I get that, you know, type thing. And, yeah, you guys, if you guys haven't seen it, you guys need to watch it. It's just so great. Storyline is fantastic. The actors in it, the actresses in it, phenomenal job. They really, they really do make you, like, feel like you're there. And I know that for some people it does get you in the feels, meaning you do get emotional on it because you feel bad for some of these characters and their storylines because what's another great aspect on the show is that they bring flashbacks on certain characters like the mom has flashbacks, the brother has flashbacks, the, the sheriff has flashbacks, you know, they bring back all these flashbacks and you think, damn, some, and, and it's pretty crazy on how they do the story because you think it's just the generic like, oh, it's just kids or it's just a generic family type, you know, horror flick. But no, it's actually one of those ones where they actually really get deep into the show to where they want you to not just understand, but kind of feel in a way of what what it would be like if you had to go through that situation. And which is really good. You know, I like that because it, it makes you feel more drawn in. You know, is there anything else I could probably say about this? Probably just go watch it. Um, like I said, this is going to probably be like a short review. I mean, some of the stuff I repeated, but if you'd like to know more, I guess, it will be in the next video when I explain more elaborately. I can't pronounce that word, my god. If you guys haven't seen the show, go and watch it on Netflix, or hey, if you don't have Netflix, I feel you on that one, go to a friend's house, go get, get the Netflix account from someone, have your nana buy it for you, 
do something. But you guys got to watch that show. It's just really great. And uh, thank you guys again for stopping by and watching this review video on what I thought about it. I mean, I know you have other people who have already done it. But, I mean, I just kind of watched it during the week. So it's like, it's really great. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for taking the time and watching this review video. I hope you guys like this. If you guys did, go ahead and drop a like. And if you guys are new here watching it, go ahead and subscribe. I got some other stuff coming out and some other content you guys might enjoy. And don't forget to also check out the Ethereum website down there, right there, uh, to keep you guys selves as, uh, updated on when we stream and what we got for you in our site it, our, itself. We have blogs on other movies. We have blogs on comics. We have blogs on pretty much anything. And we're going to do some future uh, upcoming blogs. So also the stream schedule is there so you can check out me and when I stream and other YouTubers that I work with um, when we're going to stream. So thank you guys again for coming by. I hope you guys enjoyed this and have a great weekend. And go watch Stranger Things. Arr!